Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas, and I have strayed off the lesson plan a little here. I'm going to do one more garter bar lesson on making cables to show how to make a little bit more of an unusual cable, just to give you some ideas of things you can do with your garter bar. Then I'll get back to plan because the next lesson that I had originally planned to do was on how to park half of your knitting on a garter bar so that you can do neck band or excuse me neck line shaping without a lot of waist turn. Now to do this particular cable which is called a woven cable for the first row of the cable I bring out 10 stitches. Now since I'm bringing these out all the way and the stitches are behind the latches then these these are the stitches that are going to be moved. Now, in this technique that I've been showing on the last few videos about how to set the needles up so that you can just put the ones, the stitches you want, on the garter bar, then what I do is I bring out the stitches I'm not putting on the garter bar, I bring out those needles just enough so that the latches open, but the stitch is still inside the latch, and then finally I push them all back. All the ones I'm going to move, I push them back so they're in a line with the others. Then it's very easy indeed to drop the garter bar on. I have an open latch somewhere. There we go. To drop the garter bar on, to bring it out, and of course everything comes out. Garter bar, stitches, the needles, everything comes on out so that the stitches retain the character of being either inside the hook or behind the latch entirely. Then I drop the stopper on and I can pop these stitches right onto the garter bar. Now the first step of this cable is to take 10 stitches off in the middle and then to move all 10 over to the right by one needle. And then I'm going to take off the second one from the right here onto the first empty needle, then leave one, then move one, and I'm using the pad of my finger to poke these onto the needles. So I'm putting every other stitch onto a needle, then I just push back a little to make sure my latches are open and I move over and I cross. So I'm, I'm putting these remaining stitches, there are five of them, into the remaining empty needles. And I'll just pop those on again with the pad of my finger. And then while I've got the stopper on, I'll shove this all back against the stopper so it'll be easy to knit. Then it's two rows for this pattern. And then the second part of it, which would be row three, that was row one, and then rows two and three, and now that I've done row three, the second part is just to bring out the center eight stitches, not all ten. Now on the sample you can see I've already latched, latched up the, you know, the eleventh stitch at stitch six on each side. So, you know, I've got twelve stitches counting the latched up one and I've got ten in between. That just kind of helps me see which needles to use. I could also have used my dry erase marker again to mark them on the bed. So, I'm going to bring these needles that I am not selecting out just a little bit and get their latches open. Push these back to line up. Put the whole business on the garter bar. Bring it out. Stopper on. Cables don't work well at all without the stopper. You're definitely going to want it. And then I pop the eight center stitches onto the bar. Then for the center for, for the row three where I only have the eight stitches, this time I go the other direction. I move to the left by one needle, the first, first part of the cross, and then I put every other needle onto an empty needle, starting from the right. And then I lift up and I cross those so that I can put the other four needles onto the empty four needles that are left. So those are all crossed push them back, and knit two rows. Now I think I have enough of a sample to show you how this turned out. So I am just going to latch up the rest of the way on these stitches on the ends, and that will make it uh, a little more attractive. 
and gives, gives a quick review on how to latch up stitches. So I've got, got the one on the right here. Let me grab the one on the left. There are just so many interesting cables that you can do using your garter bar. And I'm surprised that people don't talk more about cabling with the garter bar. Now, the last step on my little sample, and I suppose I should mention that a woven cable like this is often the center of a traditional Aran sweater. Anyway, my last step is going to be to do a loose row and do the loose row loose bind off that I showed in the beginning lessons so that this can come off and be flipped around and show you how this cable looks. So, let me just push these these hooks out, get the stitches behind the latches, and do the loop through the loop bind off. I need my latch tool, and this doesn't take very long, and then I'll have this off and show it. So here you have it, a very pretty woven cable. I'll just zoom in a little so you can see that. And you can see the one latch row on each side of the cable and how that adds a little bit of dimension to it. It is indeed a wonderful center for an Aran sweater. And not too hard to do with the garter bar.